There's a lesser known way to improve your self-awareness that many people overlook. It isn't as obvious as meditating until you reach a conclusion about yourself or keeping a daily journal. In fact, the answer cannot really be found within yourself. It's found within other people. This is the essence of psychological projection. Psychological projection is the mental process in which people attribute to others what is in their own minds. When we come in tune with our projections, we can reveal what is called our shadow, which is a phrase that was popularized by the psychologist Carl Jung. The shadow is the unconscious part of ourselves that we repress and refuse to admit is there. Most people go about their lives projecting their insecurities, grotesque desires, and negative aspects about themselves onto others. But by integrating your shadow, allowing yourself to shine light on it, and accepting it with open arms, you will live a more balanced, self-aware life. And the things that used to anger or haunt you will no longer have as much power over you. I want you to imagine a world where evil didn't exist. Everybody got along, nobody disagreed with each other, and life was peaceful. What do you think it would take for humans to reach that point? Would we all need to think and act the same way? Or would we need to accept our differences and be okay with them? Well, the answer probably isn't as simple as either one of those. As backwards as it sounds, I think we would be a little more closer to a world like that if more people embraced the weird, evil, pessimistic parts of themselves. And if that sounds confusing to you, let me give you an example. A man named Chad lays down on his couch after a stressful day at work. He got into a heated argument with one of his female co-workers because she was overly stressed and complaining about her period. Why don't you just suck it up, huh? Sheesh, women are so sensitive, Chad said. It's funny you say that, considering the fact that you're the one that's getting overly emotional, the woman replied. What did you just say? I'm not sensitive at all, you moron. Women are just soft, that's all there is to it. They'll never be able to handle what men can handle. As he lay on his couch, trying not to think of the comment that so triggered him, he opened his phone to some TikToks. He sees some men wearing dresses and memes about the guy being the little spoon, and gets even more heated. Men are such these days. I can't believe this crap. The reality here isn't that women are too emotional or that men being feminine on TikTok is the biggest problem. The reality that Chad can't get himself to admit is that he has a more emotional feminine aspect to himself that he's been repressing since he was a child. And the way he hides it is by acting overly masculine all the time, being closed off from any sort of relationships, and trying to get as lean and muscular as possible. If he truly accepted the more feminine quality of his psyche, like wanting intimacy, love, and a need to express his emotional side sometimes, then he wouldn't be so triggered by his co-workers' comments or the TikToks he sees online. It doesn't mean he isn't more masculine than not. It's fine to want to lift weights and be in the best shape possible and be masculine as a guy. But one of the main reasons for Chad doing so is because he's disgusted by his feminine side. He wants to completely destroy it through his masculine rage and lifting heavy weights. And paradoxically, the more he tries to destroy it, the more power it has over him, and the more it projects itself onto other people. In this way, Chad is just a little baby trapped in a muscular man's body. This is the sad state of most people. Their shadow selves run rampant, and they get triggered by anything that reminds them of something in themselves that they can't bring themselves to admit. Maybe the example I just told triggered something in you, and if that's the case, you've got some shadow work to do. The truth is that most people can't handle the truth. They're afraid to open themselves up and see what monsters lie there awaiting for them. What most people can't seem to understand is that your outward reality is a direct reflection of how you feel about your inward reality. If you get really triggered by someone's presence alone, then it's likely that they are expressing a part of themselves that you are afraid to express or admit that you have. If you get disgusted when you think of dirty websites and you see it as a sin, it might be a sign you are suppressing your own sexual nature. Did you know that adult website content is consumed the most by Bible Belt states in the US? It's quite telling that the same people that condemn viewing adult websites or doing anything sexually are the same ones that are secretly watching the most content like that, isn't it? And if you get extremely pissed off when someone makes a million dollars and you call them selfish and greedy, it's because you're afraid to admit that you want to chase the bag too. Now pay close attention to how you react when I announce these sponsor of today's video, Dave. 
All right, so we've all been in a situation where we've been a little tight on money. I know for me, it was mostly when I would pay with food in quarters, or I would only fill up my gas tank with like five or ten dollars. That is where Dave can help. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to five hundred dollars instantly with extra cash. With extra cash, you can finally fill your tank up to the top or catch up on some bills that you're running behind with. The whole thing sounds kind of sus, right? They can give you up to five hundred dollars instantly. Well, here. Here's the best part about Dave. There is no interest and no credit check needed. All you do is download the Dave app, put in your information, and then you can get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. Millions of people have already downloaded the app and it's got very high reviews. So if you're trying to get some financial relief, then you can download Dave at dave.com slash Hastings. That is dave.com slash Hastings. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve member FDIC. So listen, the main point I'm trying to make with this video and to make you realize is this. If something that someone else does produces a visceral negative emotional response out of you, then more often than not, it's because you are suppressing that quality within yourself. And if you are so quick to get defensive and pissed off about what someone says about you, then it's because you're afraid that they might be right. Because otherwise, it wouldn't bother you so much. I can think of so many instances in my life where I've gotten triggered at something that when I stepped back and took it in really and questioned why I was getting triggered so much, it was because I had some sort of insecurity or flaw that I didn't care to admit. I've come to accept that evil things exist in this world. We all want to believe we're completely pure souls that only want to do good to others, but that's just not really true. The truth is, you are flawed, you are sensitive, you are insecure, you do hate things about yourself, you are egotistical sometimes. Humans are in a constant battle between the conscious aspects of ourselves we can handle facing and the unconscious aspects of ourselves that we can't handle and thereby project onto others. And paradoxically, if you continue to push those unconscious parts away, leaving them in the dark crevices of your mind, the more likely you are to do things that most of us would consider extremely dark. Look, I'm not saying all these bad things to make you angry or hate me. I'm saying them because finally, I want you to do the thing that you've been avoiding for years now. The thing that is most painful of them all. Looking at the negative aspects of yourself. So let's start off with where the suppression began, which was most likely the influence of someone else. When you were a kid, did you ever have a parent or caretaker or peer that told you to stop being a certain emotion when you started to? Did your parents tell you that being angry or sensitive was wrong or bad? It's probably what happened to Chad at our story in the beginning. If that is the case, then that's why you get so triggered when you see someone else getting angry or sensitive or see them openly expressing those parts of themselves. It's been ingrained into you that all of these things, having insecurities, being sensitive, hopeless, and sad, is wrong. You've been taught that you're not supposed to feel this way, but denying that is denying an essential part of what it means to be human. After you've realized that, it's time to become aware. The next time you feel yourself getting viscerally triggered by what someone does or says, take a moment to process it. Ask yourself, why is it causing me to feel this way? When have I suppressed what this person is doing in the past because I thought it was wrong? Could I secretly be like them in some way? Or do I secretly wish that I had the capability to openly express what they're expressing? Once you answer these questions, you'll uncover more and more pieces of your shadow self. And once you do this, you need to practice possibly one of the most difficult practices that you can do to help yourself, which is radical self-acceptance. Envision your shadow self in front of you. Do not run away from it like you've been trying to all these years. And tell your shadow self, I was taught it's not okay to feel you within me, but it is. When you do this, your shadow self will probably start to fight back. It will try to deny all those awful thoughts and feelings that you've had before. It will make up every excuse in the book to try to deny that that part of you is there. But it's only doing that as a way to continue living, as a way to protect itself, and therefore protect a part of you. Because if you shine your light on it, it knows it will vanish. But that is exactly what you need to do. 
Look it dead in the eyes and say, you have issues. You get angry. You get jealous and greedy and are not kind sometimes. But you are a fundamental part of me. I am no longer going to run away from you now. And I accept you with open arms. And the next time you feel those more negative aspects of human nature start to come out of you, you'll be more kinder to that part of yourself, and therefore it won't express itself in such visceral negative ways. And you'll find that you don't react so negatively to them anymore. When someone decides to do something that used to trigger you, it won't, because that part of yourself no longer triggers you. Every single person you know is insecure about something, and gets depressed sometimes, and gets angry when they think they shouldn't, and contemplates why they even exist, and feels like a failure. But the only difference between you and the ones who don't let these things come out in such nasty ways is that they have the ability to fully accept both the positive and negative aspects of human nature, and thus become whole with oneself. This is your next mission. Because the very thing you're afraid to confront within yourself might be the key to your freedom. Thank you very much to all my patrons on Patreon. If you don't know what that is, it's a platform separate from YouTube where I'm putting out exclusive content. You can talk to me one-on-one -on -one over the phone on there. If you want to check that out, link in the description. And if you want to check out another video that helps you deal with your insecurities, check out this one. will really help you. And I'm signing off. I'll see you guys. Love ya. Peace.